everyone and welcome to a very special video indeed. Star Stable Mobile, after such a long journey, has finally been released to everyone. It is now on Android and iPhone worldwide. This journey all started back in 2020 when I was actually a beta tester for it in Australia and I got to make some of the first footage made for Star Stable Mobile which is really cool and they are my most popular videos which actually makes me a little bit mad. <laughs> it was then released to Australia and maybe New Zealand and like as a whole just the country uh, just for more, some more early access like testing before it was released to iPhone worldwide. Well for the past few months it, they have been testing Star Stable on Android in Sweden and it is finally come full circle. Hopefully a lot of people will be able to play Star Stable on the mobile right now. There is some requirements that you need and things like that. They, it was a little bit of a rocky start unfortunately but I think that they've solved a few little issues that Google Play and Android versions and RAM things had. So hopefully a lot of you guys can play because Android has so many different types of phones with so many different specifications. I'm really not sure how many people are able to play Star Stable on Android. Fortunately, I am one and I know that a lot of other people can. So I thought that we would bring the channel full circle by making a video. I have been considering doing a video where I go out in random places and touch some grass, you know, walk up a mountain, go to the beach and play Star Stable. But I don't know if I want to do that because I'm really anxious filming stuff in public. And is it even worth going to all those places? Like, would you guys watch a video like that? I don't really know. But that's the potential that Star Stable Mobile has. So Let's check it out. This is my first time playing it on my proper phone. I have a Samsung. Uh, all the other mobile videos you would have seen, I did buy a little iPhone very first. Unfortunately, I think that iPhone died. I accidentally spilt nail polish on it. Don't even ask me. I think it happened when I was moving. And then I was also playing on my iPad, but... I feel like it's, I don't know, maybe I'll be watching TV and just training my horses, but I also feel like I'll get really motion sick. Like, I don't know how my controls are gonna go. Let's just find out. There are a few things that have still not changed on mobile that I think makes playing it on mobile a little bit tougher, which is why I still 100% prefer the PC. I am a PC gamer. But if you do not have a computer that can play Star Stable, then obviously anything you can get your hands on is worth it. Oh, hello. We're floating. We're potentially glitching. No, we're just loading in. It's okay. Let's find out. I think they recently made it so that they changed the controls around a little bit. Okay, wow, this is crazy. I haven't played Star Stable Mobile in a long time just because I don't find it the most intuitive. Ah, oh, replace joystick with left-right buttons. So we don't even have a graph graphics section here on the mobile, which really surprised me because I guess it means that there's like not an option. Where's the jump button? That's the jump button. My phone vibrates when I jump. Oh my gosh. If you have a higher quality phone, you're getting the same graphics as a low qu lower quality phone, which might just be a restriction for lower quality. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I guess you can buy Star Queens directly. That's what that button does. I don't like that button. A uh, cool. I wish that they could put it into like the little menu here because it just feels a little gimmicky. Like, buy Star Queens. We also have a global store. I actually kind of like this design for global store. Like obviously it's with the new user interface. We don't have that on the computer yet. I do find scrolling a little bit difficult though. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Gotta go to like get in between. We also have photo mode now. Which photo mode came out like in 2020 or 2021 or something. 2021. It was after it was officially released. So if I ever wanted, there's just someone here with me. That's totally chill. One thing that I cannot do when I'm on mobile. I can't do the chat, you guys. As I, like, I'm not very good at phone. <laughs> Especially landscape typing. Nah. <laughs> Let's take a picture. There it is! There's my picture! Oh no! Why didn't it take a picture without the user interface? Wait, I think I- is that a button for it? Oh, no, that's just more buttons. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like, hide user interface. That's so weird, because the user interface does go away for a split second so that it can take a screenshot without it, but then 
in my setting, in my in my pictures, the user interface is still there, which is a little bit unfortunate. I don't know if that's meant to happen. There's so many buttons. Okay, let's go to my home stable because I struggled a lot. Obviously, I feel like there's not going to be as many bugs, hopefully, but I really struggled with the home stable when, when I was playing on the iPhone. But one thing that has not changed is uh, the fact that the clothing items do not have pictures. I reckon that this will probably change if we get a new closet system. That's if the mobile also gets the closet system. Because if you can see in global store, where's global store? Why has global store disappeared? Can you not access global store in the home stable on here? Okay. You see, this is how we used to play star stable. And it was okay on the computer because you could hover over and still see what you were looking at. But now you have to constantly put things on and off. And I just feel like this makes organizing your closet so difficult. But if this is the only way you can play star stable, you'll definitely just get around it. But let me know if you do play it on the phone and how you go about making outfits because I do not miss the days of our black and white little icons. Like, oh my gosh. The other thing that I find is that on such a small screen, I can't really see my character that much. Like, I can only see half of it because we're kind of like not centered very well. And I don't think, I mean, I can't really move this over. But once again, they are working on a new closet system. So maybe it'll be different so that it'll work better on the mobile. Something like Global Store, because you saw in Global Store, we could still see all the clothes and things like that. But this is running super well, which is really good. I don't know if I prefer the joystick or like the little arrow keys. I think I prefer the joystick. What is it when you dismount? Because when you dismount, it used to be different. Yeah, it's still the joystick when you dismount which is good yeah i think i prefer the joystick there's not a ton of different things that i can do but one thing that i do want to try is definitely some races one race which i know i will suck at is definitely here at starshine ranch because your agility is so high and i feel like i'm just i'm still bad but this is still something that you would get used to so it's not Star Stable's fault that I'm just bad at controlling stuff on phones. But because the agility is so high. Ah, oh, how do you jump? Okay. <laughs> I kind of like the vibration, but it's also kind of weird. Oh, if you crash, it also vibrates. Cool. I'm actually kind of slaying this right now. But I, I feel like there's still a lot going on. How do you jump? <laughs> Why do I? I don't really like the jump button where it is, but I don't know if they could change that really. Like, I feel like there's so much stuff in this little corner that doesn't have to be in the corner like i feel like this special move could be in a different spot just so that you could have a bigger jump button so it's more intuitive if that makes sense but i also feel like star stable mobile has been out for so long that maybe they don't really maybe they've found the user interface that works the best for them maybe i'm the odd sheep in the family but i've actually i feel like i've done better or at least the same on this race than i have on the computer. I feel like I, I didn't feel as much agility though. Like my horse definitely still has agility, right? I'm also honestly feeling okay. I thought I was gonna be more motion sick, but I think I'd be more motion sick. I'm a special person, by the way. I get motion sick playing Minecraft. I think if I was trying to watch a TV show and doing this, then I would be motion sick. But the th funny thing is that I can play Star Stable and watch a TV show. But I can only do it at the computer. Like I tend to not be able to function when I'm playing games on my phone and trying to do something else. Like trying to watch something. Wow, this is very slow. I don't feel like my horse has no agility. I think there's a hair on my nose. It really tingles. Ah. Okay, I'm getting used to jumping. Maybe I was just being dramatic before. Alright, so that did better than I thought. In fact, I even got gold. So I guess I'm just better at video games than I thought. <laughs> Although I did not race against a, com a, an, a component, an opponent, which I think might have gone worse. I don't really know what else to do. Can you zoom in on the map still? No, you can't. I feel like this map is also still really low quality. And even getting like a little checkpoint. What are they called? Finding the X and Y coordinates and putting down like a little thing. I cannot get it to go away now. Two fingers. Two fingers. Oh no, it just moved it to a different spot. I cannot get it to go away. There's just going to be a line in the sky. I don't think I've ever gone into the mail before here. I mean, that's pretty fun. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure in the mobile... Oh, oh hey, that's different. To do an emote, you have to physically type out slash wave, click done, 
click send, quickly go out, and then you'll be waving. I feel like that's a little bit tricky. This does feel a little bit easier to type on than before, but it does kind of feel like because you can't see your screen anymore, if you're having a conversation with someone, it doesn't really feel like you're playing Star Stable anymore. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing or a good thing, I'm just saying it as a fact and I don't think there's anything that Star Stable could do differently. What time is it? I wonder if there's a championship soon. Let me just really quickly find the championship button, I think it's this one. No, that's the club button. <laughs> championship. This one? No, that's friends. What? What? Oh, it's in here, right? You go into your character sheet and then you go into championship. Okay, today's Friday. The Baroness's championship. Should I try doing the championship, you guys? There's nothing overwhelmingly negative that I found playing on mobile right now. And I've been playing for like 10 minutes, but it's smooth. I can still do the normal things that I would do in Star Stable. Besides making an outfit, I would never make an outfit on mobile. Like, no. Unless I was like in Global Store, I bought everything, my inventory was empty, and I just put them on. Then I would make an outfit. <laughs> Which obviously is not an ideal way of doing it. Let me know, once again, if you guys are on mobile, how are you guys making outfits? Are you guys struggling or have you gotten used to it? Do you have like tips and tricks that you do? I guess it also depends how many clothes you have. Oh my gosh, there's a purple thing on my screen. Shared moment, that's awesome. Well, I will see you guys in 10 minutes. You guys, this is kind of weird because usually when I'm waiting for champs, I go, I like walk away. <laughs> or I go on my phone, but now I'm like, what do I do with my life? So I was kind of like on my computer instead, but I, I lost connection. I did leave the app once. Maybe that's why I lost connection. I never lose connection on my computer, but obviously a phone has less reliable connection than a computer. Hopefully I didn't miss the champ though. We still have two minutes, so we should be okay. I feel like loading into the game is also similar, if not maybe a little bit quicker than my computer. I don't think it's slower. Hello? Please take me. Hello. Thank you. Okay, we had one minute left, but we got there. We got there. It's okay. I feel like the graphics are de like really good. But also, if you look too far like into even like the people, like the Zoe person and Calamity... I feel like they're a little bit pixelated, but honestly, for a horse game on a mobile, I think the fact that Star Stable Online is now on mobile, I think Star Stable kind of takes the cake for the best mobile horse game. I'm biased because I play Star Stable and I also have Star Rider. It's definitely a different thing if you can't pay for Star Rider and things like that. The music is turned on and I never have my music turned on. I, this is crazy. There's music in this in this in this race. Now I also haven't done a championship in ages, so if I do badly, this isn't necessarily hard right now. But I feel like it's taking more brain power than what I usually spend on Star Stable. But obviously that would go away once I've gotten used to the controls, I guess, for a little bit. Ah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Why did that feel kind of easier? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. What am I coming? I can't scroll down. I don't know what I'm coming. Ah! What? No! <laughs> I'm fine. I kind of feel, feel like the joystick's a little hard to use. Like, I feel like I have to really drag my finger to be able to move. But I'm also someone who doesn't play mobile games, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. Maybe that's just how it feels to play a mobile game. But I just feel like it's not as responsive as I would like in some time, in some experiences. Scenarios is the word I was looking for. I wonder if you can turn off the buzzing when you jump. Because I, like, it's fun. It's like, oh, you jumped. Oh, you crashed into something. But I also feel like it could be kind of annoying. Someone has already finished. Okay, I'm definitely, like, coming last right now. <gasps> no. Hopefully I can still be able to jump. Jump, 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 jump. Don't crash again. Oh, no. What? I pressed the button. I pressed the button. I think it's just weird. Because I'm used to like, you know, when you press the space bar down, you're physically pressing the space bar down. Because the screen is obviously flat, it's like, I maybe I pressed the screen, maybe I didn't. I don't really know anymore. What did I come? I forgot to look. Oh no, probably last. Oh yeah, I think I was the last one over the finish line because we're all free now. Why I'm really lagging right now. I think that might be like population lag, I'm not sure. Anyways, 
I think that's going to be the end of this. Let me know whether you guys have been playing Star Stable on the mobile, whether that's iPhone, whether that's Android, whether that's maybe on your iPad or something. Does anyone actually prefer it over playing on the PC. I have to say that personally, I don't right now. Oh yeah, level up. Let's go. But that's just my personal preference and Star Stable Mobile wasn't made for me. It is. It was made for the people who wanted Star Stable Mobile and I think after many, many years, I remember when I was younger and I didn't have a consistent computer to play on, I really wanted Star Stable Mobile because at least I had my, albeit very cheap, um, not a good android tablet which probably would not have run star stable but at least like it might have whereas i didn't have a laptop a functioning laptop at the time so it's made for those people i'm not really sure if i'm going to be jumping on the mobile at all i'm not really sure i guess we'll find out and i'll keep you guys updated on instagram or something there is one other game that i have not played on mobile and that is rival stars so let me know whether i should try rival stars on mobile because i play on the desktop version speaking of rival stars if you would like to check out one of my rival stars breeding videos then recently i made a video where i bred some brand new horses brand new coat patterns came into the game so we got some new pinto markings and things like that and I bred them on a few little folds and it was really fun and cute and I'm really trying to get my Rival Stars videos out there. It's not working too well for me, but maybe one day. I love you all so much. That video is on the screen and I will see you all later. Bye!